Jeff, Dave, Ben, hmm, see if you can catch it, all right boy, hmm, not bad, yeah, um, pedigree marrow bones, oops, I should, pedigree marrow bones, I better put this camera down before I get carried away, don't you know, she cut the eye. And welcome again. That doesn't. Now you're probably only seeing this much of me, are you? Or this much? <laughs> ah, welcome to Friday. It is the 19th, I believe. Check on the old uh, meter here. 19th of February, 2016. This is the beer, the Friday beer video. <laughs> How can I always mess those up? And this is your host, Chris Collier. Uh, put up in a video earlier this week. Some guys wanted to see uh, some more of this little red knife that Maritime Spook gave me, so I'm gonna go do that. Give a closer look of how it works or how I think it works. And uh, uh, I got a couple of parcels to open too. And then we'll see what we do after that if we have time. 1435. Uh, the beer for today is a new one that's in our stores. Made by the Spindrift Brewing Company, and that's called Coastal Lager. Mm. That dog bone's pretty good. Maybe I'll bring that tomorrow to the food challenge. <laughs> uh, it's got a little buoy there. It's got the Coastal Lager. Lager beer, 5%, 473 milliliters. Return for refund. Product of Canada. Hey. Canada. Uh, Spindrift Brewing Company in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Ingredients. Water, malt, hops, and yeast. Can't, can't get much simpler than that. Okay, so let's see if we, see if we can hear the ocean. Billy Ocean, maybe. Oh, that's the Rolling Stones. Sorry. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Color. It's a little darker than normal, like Budweiser or Canadian, I think. Loggers are a bit heavier, I think, maybe. Yeah, definitely a bit darker, for sure. And... Mmm, it's got a good smell to it. Or a bad smell. I don't, I'm having problems with my nose lately. Uh, malt comes through with there anyway. <laughs> I bet you the second drink is going to be better than the first. Uh, again, it's 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 a lot of hops and probably a lager that traditionally didn't have very much hops, so it tastes like an IPA. The scourge of the beer nation, IPA. All those preppies that like it. I'll just try a second taste. Yeah, still a strong smell, strong taste. I think maybe it was the smell I was smelling was that. So let's uh, look at this knife. I'll take the camera down now and uh, take some close-ups. Uh, I should set this up so I can use two hands. That would be the best thing to do, eh, then? Uh oh. I never did this before, or maybe I did. I don't know. He was gentle. So, this is the knife. It's got a nice long belt clip. Red plastic handles, I guess. 
And the key to how this works is right in here and this long groove. And you can see two pins, maybe. The two pins here and here. Oh. So that keeps the knife from going forward because this pin has to come down. So if you push down on it, the knife flicks open. You can see this pin is now in line with this pin on the groove. So it can slide forward. And that beast of plastic broke off. I want my money back. Anyway, it locks in there. It locks in in the bottom somehow. I'm not too sure how. But that's there. And now to get it back in, you got to push the release here. The braid, blade lock, I think it's called. And now you can slide this back. It's got to be back all the way or it won't close. You can see once again that this pin is getting caught up on that little piece. So you make sure it's all the way back. Like that and then just close this down so once again get back here slide it open locks into place and you release the blade lock here and slide it back with a click and a close so that's it that is the roll lock uh nice and i don't know it is a cr kt Good American company. So that's your close up of the roll lock blade. I hope that's good. Uh, it comes with instructions. What can I do to focus this anyway? I guess just not. That's all right. Press blade base, slide blade open, press blade lock, pull blade back. And that's the roll lock. Yes, very interesting knife. I've never seen one before. And I don't know, I think it's only the one thing, the company that makes them, roll locks. I guess... He was cracked here, so Maritime Spook gave it to me because he knew it was worthless. But I'm going to hold on to this forever just because it's so neat. Thanks again. Uh oh. Get back. Get out. So, hope I didn't drone on there too long. But from my millions and millions of fans. Uh, actually, two of them. Two of you guys out there asked to see a better close, closer look at that. So we got two packages here. Gonna drink a beer. It's gonna be good by the end, I bet. I really don't know what I'm doing sometimes. It's unbalanced. Oh well. Maybe the first half you'll see this top of me, and then the second half you'll see this top of me. And then you're trying to splice them together so you can understand what I'm saying. You been? So, this is from uh, Ching Chong, China. No, Ching Hu. Zhongi Shang, China. Ah, uh, yes, I remember it well. Did you hear about the new Viagra they're making? Yeah, Viagra X2. Give you a four hour erection you don't have to tell your doctor about. Four hour boner. Keep you from rolling out of bed for four hours. That's why they gave the Viagra to the old guys. This says necklace. And it's some gaudy old uh, necklaces. From China. What I liked about these was the little wolf at the end. You know, I don't know if I'd ever wear something like this. Uh, it's okay, fashion jewelry. <clears throat> but I thought I could do something with the wolves anyway. Put them on uh, plaques or trophies. <laughs> I 
Trophies to be one tomorrow. I better make sure I don't have any. Uh, it appears that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. I think. Anyway, but they were probably something like a dollar eighty-nine each. So, just a little bit of a crafting supplies that I buy now and then. Okay, stop stalling. This is from Mr. Nathan4071. And I think he's paying me back for the beef jerky I sent him for Christmas. Uh, you didn't have to send anything back. It was Christmas. If you want to be my Valentine, you know where to go. <laughs> I, could, I love you. Not in that way. This is why people don't fight with scissors, like hand to hand. That sharp little knife I had, here I am going to town with a, with a thing. <laughs> Alien fresh jerky. Uh, two stickers. <laughs> That's cool. If I ever send you anything else, I'll send you some stickers from uh, the guy here. Crave beef jerky. Gluten free. Aha! But wait a sec. Cows eat grain. Grain has gluten. Why do cows not have gluten? You research that. Come back to me tomorrow with a proper answer. Proper now. That is a good question, though. State of Rose. Honey barbecue beef jerky. Smoke flavored. Added. Oh, smoke flavored. Right. So we got sweet chipotle. Chipotle being a... Ah, uh, you recognize there's some goodies here, is there? Here is some Crave gluten-free <laughs> chili lime. Man, what makes you think you're going to get any of these? This is human food. What was that? Okay, that's no problem. Stater rubbers, peppered. Ah, I like the old. I like black pepper. Is one of my favorite spices. Ooh, look at this! Sweet maple glaze bacon jerky. Jewel. <laughs> That's my trail's best. There it is. Alien fresh jerky. <laughs> best jerky in the universe. Abducted cow beef jerky. Pineapple teriyaki. <laughs> Alien Fresh Jerky, Best Jerky, Premium. This is Rogue Kill Original Beef Jerky. I don't I imagine this is made in Nevada or somewhere. Oh, California. Alien Fresh Jerky, Lemon Pepper Beef Jerky. I bet you those are going to be the bestest. I don't know if I even want to open those. Oh, wouldn't be something now if I started collecting beef jerky. I could use it like insulation around the inside of my walls. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Figure that one out, Mike Holmes. That is your real name. I better get going here. Hmm, I can feel it working. I guess that's all I had to do today. Yeah, beef jerky insulation. Eighteen thousand dollars a square foot. <laughs> Copperhead roads on. Thank you very much, uh, Nathan. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna even open these ones. 
I gotta make sure that everybody sees them though. They'll probably last for a while. No, I can't get into that. Chili lime or sweet chipotle? Hey, I'm talking to you. Chili lime or sweet chipotle? Sweet chipotle? Okay, you're talking to me. You want a piece, Ben? By chance? Per chance? I'm gonna split this one. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a really good, uh. Tastes like chili. You know, chili? You know, the meal? It's good, eh? Can you use already? So I won't be a pig and try one every day, or all, all at once. I'll uh, I'll stretch them out. Thanks again, Nathan four zero seven one for everything you do for all us bushcraft people. Uh, oh, it's a nice sunny day out, minus two ish. It's supposed to go down to minus sixteen tonight, though. <laughs> Maybe we'll go out and spend a night in the woods. Would you like that? <laughs> we'll see you next week. Maybe even tomorrow. No, tomorrow I got the Collier Winter Challenge. You know, we play games and uh, do a food challenge. The food challenge is comfort food, beef, chicken, or pork. Thanks for coming up here. You make the end. So that's three, four things you knocked off the couch or the table. You happy for yourself? <laughs> Chris, out. I don't know what to do. Now.